Okay, welcome back everybody to the Lions Rebuild. This will definitely be a shorter session unless we go into the Monday night game. But probably about an hour stream here. Just going to hang out before I hit the hit the road tomorrow for the holidays. Wanted to get one last stream in here. But let's recap our offseason because we got through our offseason pretty quick. It wasn't the most exciting offseason. We didn't have the best opportunities to dramatically improve the team. But that said, we did bring DeAndre Swift back on a three-year, $24 million contract. We didn't really do much at the receiver room. We brought back, we signed Harrison Bryant to be our number two tight end. We brought back Jack Doyle and Isaac Nada. Offensive line has no change. Oh, I appreciate that, Dirty Deuce. That is the best compliment you can give me. And then we have a really intriguing defense this year. The defense was awesome. We got some guys go up to X Factor. So we get Tyree Jefferson has X Factor. Telvin Wooden in his third season, he had a good year. And then Deshaun Hand, he goes up to Superstar. Did he lose Superstar X Factor? Because I thought he got it. Hold up. Interesting. I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to give it back to him. At some point, they took Superstar away from him despite the fact that he earned it. He was D-line of the year. And I think he has absolutely earned Superstar X Factor. He's been great. We just gave him a big contract extension last year. So I am going to give him his X Factor back. But yeah, this defense is awesome. I really wanted to trade for like Jamal Adams or Derwin James, but because I wanted to get someone that could have the uh, whatever the the leadership one is, where when he gets in the zone, everyone that's an X factor on your your that side of the ball gets in the zone. So we're either aiming to get a strong safety that can be that somehow, or for Tyrone Whitaker to continue to dominate. And then we can give that to him. Selfless, I think is what it's called. This guy's also interesting. He has hidden development. He was a second round pick. So he can step up next to Deshaun Hand, hopefully. And then our first round pick was... I think Will Cheeks was our first round pick. And he has normal development, but we are definitely going to start him. I'm going to give him a different number. We'll give him 34. What's up, Turco Tom? We did sign Caleb Von Chess on for a prove it deal. We also brought in Bilal Nichols. Those were some free agent signings we moved, we made. We also brought in Noah Igbenogany. So we've got some kind of retread. This is year five, so some retread guys. I'm stoked. This is gonna be a good year. On to the preseason. What should Washington do at quarterback for 2021? Well, let's assume they're not picking in the top 10. If you could trade for Matt Stafford, that'd be amazing. I don't think he'll necessarily be available. Maybe you could trade for, like, Matt Ryan. Um, but you pretty much have to go the veteran route. Maybe you could trade for Gardner Minshew. I think Minshew would be an upgrade to anything they have there. But they're in a really tough spot. They're, they're dangerously close to getting stuck in purgatory. 
Yeah, I still think Dable would be the best coach for the Jets. Ooh, AJ Dillon is available. I'm gonna sign him. We don't have. I'm also. Oh, Cohen never. Cohen never got a contract. We tried to extend him, so that that'll round out our running back room. I also might grab Jalen Hurts. as a backup wide receiver we have so many receivers I'm not gonna worry about that hey Bentley with the sub thanks my dude we've reached the point it's almost like a dominant NCAA team where we've reached the point where anyone we sign is unlikely to make the team I'll bring this guy in I say no if I'm the Lions. If I'm not getting if I'm not getting Washington's first round pick, I, w I would not be trading Stafford. What do the Eagles have to give up to get rid of Wentz? I, j I just don't see them doing that. It just doesn't make sense. The Bengals very well may have lost Penny Sewell with the Jets at two. Dang, this guy is, this is like a, what's the guy for the, for the Eagles? The left, the freak left tackle. Looks like him. Matt Benson. This guy's a D tackle, but let's, let's sign him. We have so many linebackers. So many good linebackers. The legit GOAT. I will say, I dropped a podcast this afternoon, and I talked a lot about Carson Wentz. So if you are very fascinated what I think about that whole situation, I would, I would check out the podcast. It's only an hour long. It's the Fully Inflated Football Podcast. If you have Spotify, you can go check it out. But that said... It is up, Diggs. It is up. I just posted it. It's it's on. It's audio only this week. All right. I was just kind of casually making some signings there. 74 guys on the roster right now. I did go crazy with content today. I'm I'm heading down to out of town tomorrow, so I had to. I'm going to stay working on the quarterback here. He's only 24. I want to get him up so we can get escape artist for him maybe this year. And then let's go to town on... Tyree Jefferson. And maybe... Sertain still. Could Cameron Dancer be a top corner? <clears throat> I don't know if he'll ever be a top corner, but he could definitely be a starting corner. I will say, reminds me a little bit about Xavier Howard, who also ran a terrible 40 time, by the way. Xavier Howard did. Xavier Howard ran a 4-6-40. Just like Cameron Dantzler. Just the way he attacks the football reminds me of Xavier Howard. Obviously, there's a long way to go, <laughs> coverage-wise. Okay, so John Brennan. He's kind of our big-bodied Jamie Collins type, if you will. What do Texans get for JJ? Are they trading JJ? We got an O-line mentorship. 
I bet JJ would get like an, a third. I mean, he just, he's expensive. Like he's not, he's an injury risk and he's not as good as his contract is. All right, we're gonna work on Cole Glenn's run blocking. Who's better, Reek or Tay? Well, I've I've kind of dug into this. I have I have Tyreek Hill as my number one wide receiver, and that hasn't changed. Tyreek's a more skilled player. Tyreek is just a better player because of his speed. I think. I think the Chiefs would laugh at the Packers if they offered Devontae Adams for Tyreek Hill. And the Packers would probably take it if they offered Tyreek Hill for Devontae Adams. What do I think about the Texans interviewing Caldwell today? Um, I mean, that's kind of what I think. Like, my reaction right there, like, okay. He's, he's, I think he probably deserves a job, but is that the guy I'm excited to put in front of Deshaun Watson for the next decade? No, not really. You know what I mean? That was a good upgrade. Yeah, the, the Herney firing is fascinating. I don't know what that's all about. Oh man, DeAndre Baker goes down to the broken collarbone. He's our starting slot corner, so we're going to have to have someone step into that. Although, he'll be back like week four. But that's interesting. I did hear about Kevin Green. That's that's terrible. Very well-respected linebackers coach around the league. Nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about the Pro Bowl. It's it's the same old shit. We're gonna work on Amari Rogers medium routes. It's it's really just fun to make fun of the Pro Bowl at this point. Okay, so Orlando Broughton, he's 24, he's got star dev. Joe Brady with Deshaun Watson? Yeah, I think Joe Brady would be a great hire wherever he ends up. But yeah, I think I think the Texans should go swing a little bigger than Jim Caldwell. If the football team got Stafford, I think that would that would probably make them contenders. Yeah, I could get behind that. But I think that's all talk. I just I don't see how Detroit trades Matthew Stafford with how he's playing right now. For sure, Diggs. For sure. I think if the Jags get if the Jags get Trevor Lawrence, they could be legit threats to to land either Joe Brady or Brian Dable, who are to me the top two candidates. So I'll I'll go with one of those two. All right, we're gonna practice squad Ron Keys, who is our seventh round pick. We're gonna keep the four running backs. These receivers, we've got our top four. Will Fuller starting to regress, by the way. And then we'll just we'll just practice squad these guys. God, this menu is so broken. I gotta do this through the.
I'm gonna let this guy go. Tight end, I'll try to keep those four. So we drafted this dude. I'm gonna practice squad this center. I'm gonna practice squad this dude. And I'm just gonna cut this guy. Or practice squad him, that works. I think I'm gonna keep Ralph Morris around. He's interesting to me. We'll keep him with a roster spot. Give him his UDFA contract. Thanks for the follow, MXNNZ. At D end, time to let Jalen Redmond go. He's been around here for a while, but we don't need him. And Matt Benson, I'm gonna convert him to D tackle. Nichols as well. We're gonna have a lot of DTs here. I am not a Lions fan. Just doing a Lions rebuild. Okay, so we got Hand. We got Nichols, Davis. This Jamie Newman guy from Wisconsin. So I'm gonna have to practice squad Benson, I think. Hopefully he doesn't get stolen, because I do like him. We have so many guys. Our roster is just so loaded. Hugh Brown, he's gone. I think it's probably time for Pete Warner to go. We drafted this Mike Favors guy. Should the Texans trade up in the draft? I don't think so. They have too much to work on. And I'm just not a believer in trading up if you're not trading up for a quarterback, which they obviously aren't. You just got to scout well and hit on those second round picks. Or if they even have second round picks, I don't know. So Mike Favors actually... Could potentially play. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, Jack Pope. So, we I forgot we did sign Noah Igbenogany, so he's going to get a chance to play in the slot. Um, see, this is what I'm saying. This is why we traded away those mid-round picks. We just have too much talent on this roster. This guy only have 80. He only has 83 speed. We're just gonna release him. Apparently, we have two kickers too. So, yeah, tonight's game is gonna be rough. All right, we still have seven cuts to make. Damn, dude. Maybe we shouldn't go with A.J. Dillon. Maybe we should just go with three backs. How do we feel about Melvin Walker? Year two player. Decent athlete. What's his release? Why can't I find his release? 72 release. Yeah, it's just, he's not, I'm not ready to get rid of him.
too many guys I like here. Let's go back to the roster management menu. F me. That's why I, I don't like, like, I hate, I like everyone here. I don't know who to get rid of. I feel like Dylan makes sense. Also, aye, aye, aye. How many linemen do we have here? We have, we don't need all these tackles. Let's make a decision on. We drafted this guy, but he's worse than all of them. I think we got a practice squad, this guy that we drafted. Okay, and then we probably don't need both of these guys, so. I think we probably keep We gotta get rid of some of these outside linebackers. I wanna keep Terrence Randolph because he's super athletic. I think Jacob Stevens, I think it's time time to let him go. Uh, I gave Teller Superstar to start the whole thing off. Okay, Galloway, you're gonna get practice squatted. Let's just, should we just put Baker on IR? He's out for five more weeks. It would simplify things. Put him in IR and start Igbenogany. We're gonna do that and then... How much would it take to get the Falcons to trade Julio Jones? A top 50 pick probably whether it's a late first or an early second okay we have three more cuts to make I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Tracy Ward go he just isn't good enough and then I'm just gonna let AJ Dillon go And then I'm leaning towards maybe Melvin Walker or let's cut Doyle. Let's cut Doyle. We were able to get Harrison Bryant. So we cut Doyle because did we get Doyle for a one or a two year contract? Let's see. Yeah, he's on a one year deal. So let's cut Doyle. Whew, that was the hardest wave of cuts I've done in a long time. But that's that's a sign of a great team when you don't know who to let go. Let's do our depth chart, set our captains. What's up, Drop Top Submarine? How you doing, bro? It's currently starting Crosby. I think, I think we should do that again. We got Jefferson, we got Wooden. Now, 
I think we probably start Bilal Nichols. Although Jordan Davis is kind of better at everything. I'm going to go Jordan Davis over Nichols. We got Jermaine Ingram. We got Whitaker. And then, yeah, John Brennan. For base defense, at least. Akuda, Sertain, Igbenogany. Good to go there. Free safety, we're good. And then we're going to start Will Cheeks, our first round pick. Hope things go well here. I actually have not gotten through Haskins' performance yesterday quite yet. So I don't have a great answer for you at the moment. I'm going to put Whitfield on kicks, and I'm going to put, I think, actually Cohen on punts. Swift will stay third down back and power back. Slot receiver, we're good. Yes. Yes. Hand and... Bautista is technically worse, but he's more intriguing to me because he's got that hidden dev. So I'm going to put Bautista as the rush tackle. Sub linebacker will be I guess we'll go with Randolph. That's kind of our guy there. We got four linebackers we like. Slot corner, Noah Igbenogany. Almost time for some game action, chat. I just want to check our formation subs on defense real quick. Because we're good for base. But I want to check nickel. Because I want... Apparently, this is all screwed up. So I want Tyree Jefferson there, and then I want I want Brennan there, and then let's put Chase on there. That's more like it. Do I think Locke will be traded? No. I think there's a close to a 0% chance on Locke getting traded. I think he'll be back either to compete for a job next year in Denver or as the starter next year in Denver. Same thing with Haskins with the football team. He'll be back to compete next year. I don't think there's a trade. There's not a trade market for either of those guys, really. And you're not going to release them, obviously, so. 
You just bring them back. I think you you make them either plan A or plan B, but there needs to be an alternative plan. Mari Rogers into the 80s. What a career he's had. Yep, maybe. That's the key word. That's the buzzword with, with, with Drew Locke is maybe. <laughs> I think we can get... We're almost maxed out there. Okay, our season goal is going to be make it to the Super Bowl. We lost in the second round of the playoffs last year. Houston has Dalvin Cook. That's interesting. Okay. We should have all our captains set, but let's just make sure. We got Hamilton... Galladay, Taylor Decker, and Ragnow. And then we got Whit Whitaker. And I guess we need, let's go with, let's give it to Javon Holland. Honestly, I'm I just I don't really have many opinions on Scott Turner. He seems fine, but I don't think he's a head coach candidate or anything like that. Like he's done fine. He has very little to work with. Stone, what's up, bro? Thanks for the sub. All right, let's get it. New season. Texting the uh, the fiance here. Yeah, I could definitely see Nathaniel Hackett. He's a well-respected coordinator, and uh, they've done some pretty nice stuff in Green Bay. He was uh he did a good job with the Jags offense. He was the offensive coordinator for Blake Bortles. Yikes. Cunningham looked big there. I thought I honestly thought for a second we had Bernardrick McKinney there. That was just kind of bad not paying attention. I I wasn't paying attention. I thought we had Cohen on Bernardrick McKinney, which he should have co uh, cooked him. The Will Fuller revenge game. Long anticipated. There you go, Swifty. He threw that a little too shallow for my liking, but good read. I would do either a Jets or a Jags rebuild right now, Aishay. 
Those have got to be the, f the fun teams right now. Oh my goodness, we had nowhere to go there. That was just muddy blocking. Uh, if you want to check out my sliders, I would, I would suggest just checking out the first episode of my Falcons rebuild. I go through, I go through my sliders there. But we're on, we're on all Madden. All right, we'll take the kick. Lions fans are happy to have kicker of the year Patterson back. I think we signed him for three years, so he's not going anywhere. Defense needs help. First and ten. Who gets the seven seed in the NFC? I. It's pretty hard to see the Cardinals not getting it, but if anyone else gets it, it'll be the Cardinal or the the Bears. Oh, it looks like it screwed up our formation subs. Get over there, Cheeks. Ah, oh, Dalvin. Of course they run it on second and 12 because why not? Good call, I guess. God, did Hamilton throw a freaking interception? Always, always with the interceptions with him. Is Mitch going to be back next year? God, dude. That's what we all want to know, right? We know that he shouldn't be back, but it's not like the Bears have a lot of great options, so. Before the Jet before the Jags got the first pick, I did think that Jay Gruden was gonna be the head coach, but that's because I didn't think they were gonna be able to attract Dable or Joe Brady. That's changed. I thought they would miss out on some of the top options because they weren't so appealing. But that's changed if you get Trevor Lawrence. That just opened up the whole thing. I, I was tweeting about that yesterday, how you don't just get Trevor Lawrence. You might have increased your, your coach. People want to work with greatness. Damn. Damn. Third and four. Man coverage. Let's just give it. To oh, come on. Hamilton's having a terrible start to a season. They are going to let us go for it. Hamilton is just pulling a Carson Wentz out here, dude. He he sucked in the playoffs last year and now he's now throwing two picks in the first half. None of them my fault. People think Herbert should have been a Pro Bowler over Watson. Definitely not. I 
I could I mean, I think Herbert probably should, like, you can make a case that he should be a pro bowler. I bet he gets in as an alternate. Like, why is this favors guy even on the field right now? I don't. Something happened to our formation subs or something, because they're all over the place. Jesus. Evan Ingram made the Pro Bowl? <laughs> yeah, dude, Pro Bowl's a joke. Pro Bowl's a joke. Just like this Lions team right now, let's get something going. Oh my god, I don't know why I threw that necessarily, but like, why did it have to get picked? Roger McCreary, former uh, Panthers superstar. Okay, second half comeback starts now. This is just what this team does, dude. We just suck in the first, the first like four games of the year, we just suck. And then we turn it around. There you go, Swift. Andrews Pete made the Pro Bowl again. How many fucking Pro Bowls is that guy gonna make? Hey, that was nice. That was nice. All right. Come on, D. Let's go. Let's go. Now we're talking. Right back in this thing. This looks like a zero blitz. Give me a block, Swift. All right, now we're going. No, it didn't have us play the two minute. Or the two point. Great coverage, Brennan. Come on, close. Oh, he gets out of it. Oh, I think he got it. Frickin' Watson. Hundred yard day for Dalvin. Keep them out of the end zone, guys. Oh, nowhere to go. I'd still, I'd probably still go Stefanski for coach of the year, but I wouldn't have any disagreements with Flores. I could see either one. Ooh, Deshaun hands in the zone. Better look out. No catch, no catch. Whatever, we'll give it to him. Hey, the defense is bunkered down. Wait, Tuit to to didn't make the Pro Bowl? So who are the interior, who are the interior D tackles that made it? Or they don't even do it that way, do they? That's probably why he didn't make it, because he, he's technically a defensive end. That's probably why he didn't make it. I think I think they still vote like that. Okay. Yikes. Of course, to it isn't going to make it when you're voting him against edge rushers. Come on, Fuller. Good grief. Oh, 
Of course it gets picked. Of course it gets picked. Like, can we not just break the pass up? Four interceptions in our start. Just brutal. We're going to get it back, though. This defense is too good. And now it just jinxed us. Oof. Thanks for the follow, MMK. Alright, come on. Nice, nice, get him. Time out. Moist Pops. Gross name, but thanks for the follow. Edmonds made it. Edmonds was not good this year. What number did Cohen wear last last year? It was not 37. I gotta fix that. Okay, we can still win this damn thing despite the four interception day. Twenty three sounds right. Nice throw. Go, go, go. Jeez, we're getting eaten alive. We double teamed him. Defensive tackle, Marcus Davenport. And then Suggestions has us out in single back for coach suggestions. God, catch the ball, Rogers. What the hell? Okay, we got him in base defense somehow on 4th and 18. Fuck Madden. What an ugly series of events <laughs> for EA Sports. And now they're going to review an obvious catch. go throw it oh man that screen was set up to I gotta call this timeout oh man this is intense DeForest Buckner didn't make it? What the heck? Oh, we're in the zone. Oh, what a throw to the outside shoulder. What a throw. That was beautiful. All right, I want this interception for Will Cheeks, our rookie safety.
Wow. It wasn't uh, it wasn't pretty, but we got it. I'm going to keep streaming while this game starts. I'm probably not going to stream for the whole game, but... Tonight's game is pretty ugly. We're going to hang out and watch this game together. Just don't give me spoilers. We got we to gotta clean this act up a little bit. Proud of how our defense responded, though. Bautista got a sack. Two picks for Will Cheeks in his opener. Let's go. Uh, I haven't updated it in a few weeks, eh, Shea? But it is updated as of, like, a couple weeks ago. Made a couple changes. We got some ups. Tyree Jefferson. Thoughts on Montez Sweat this year? I I would I would defer you to Studs and Duds last week. Do you watch my Studs and Duds series, Troutman? Shannon Sharp is campaigning for Robert Tanya to be the NFC starter for the Pro Bowl. I respect it. All right, Weaver, I need a I need a strength boost here, dude. You got to get stronger at some point. There it is. It's all time stamped and everything, Troutman. So just go to last week's episode. Go to what I talked about for the uh, for the football team. You'll get you'll get some good you'll get some good Montez sweat breakdown there. That way I don't have to, I don't have to, you, you can get the best answer and I don't have to repeat. But yeah, he's been, I mean, he's been one of the best run defending edge players in the league for sure. And he's coming along as a pass rusher. I'm just hoping we get a Will Cheeks breakout here soon because that's the one position that we haven't been able to develop in this rebuild. Will the Jags fail Trevor Lawrence? I, I like the fit. Especially if you can get Dable or Joe Brady. Will Cheeks is our first round pick, strong safety. Yeah, next week we'll include uh, week 15, 16 for studs and duds. Oh, I missed with cheeks. Get Will Clap and Will Cheeks. That'd be pretty funny. Except Will Clap sucks. <laughs> Got, we had Russell on that one. Jordan Davis. Oh, no. Chris, that was a crazy play. God, I want Whitaker to get X Factor. If he could get freaking selfless, that'd be so dope.
Okay, we're driving. Third and two. Jamal Adams. We tried to trade for him. The contract was too big. I think Washington is most likely to win the NFC East. But uh, I think Dallas is making it interesting. I don't think the Giants will. Oh, man. Moko Toure. In the red zone again. Yikes. A Keenan Allen? I think it is, yeah. Will next gen Madden ever come out on PC? I think next year's Madden will basically be next gen, but I'm not sure about Madden twenty one. I think they realize that PC PC Madden players aren't actually Yikes. Yikes. PC Madden players aren't actually playing Madden 21. They're playing Madden 20 cuz modded Madden is better. <laughs> All right, what the heck? Why does our offense suck? We're going to have to have another second half comeback. I hope Hamilton isn't throwing more picks this week. I feel like he probably is. Nope, no picks, just only eight pass attempts. Seattle with a pass rush. It's weird. All right, Galladay. You got one on one. Hey, we'll take that. Franchises do travel to next gen. What team? What team is the most dangerous NFC East team in the playoffs? Dude, none of like, none of them. I guess Washington because they could win like some cr like crappy fluky game. Give me a block, Fuller. Washington could win some ugly, crappy game where they force three fumbles and they win nine to ten. But whoever whoever gets to play the NFC East team is is getting a gift. Monday Night Football has kicked off. Get in, Swift. Oh, he dropped it. Big Ben is taking the field. If the Steelers don't win this game by two scores, that's pretty embarrassing for them. I am not on next gen. I have not been able to get a new console, unfortunately. I wish. Getting Galladay. Woo! I forgot Galladay has uh, X Factor now after last year. Fourth down. I 
I you have Washington or you have Steelers defense and special teams. I Oh, I should have possession caught that. Damn. I have a 38 point lead and I'm playing against the Steelers defense special teams and I'm actually nervous about it. God, that drop by Rodgers crushed us. We're still in this thing though. Yeah, these Bengals jerseys are trash. Should the Browns fire Joe Woods? Who's Joe Woods again? Is that their defensive coordinator? Jesus, Big Ben. If you're going to take a check down on third and eight, you can't throw it behind the freaking running back. What are you doing? I, I guess I'm not... I don't know enough about Joe Woods to know if they should fire him or not. Um, geez. Quandre Diggs got over there fast. The Browns just don't have a lot of talent defensively. They have Miles Garrett and they have Ward, but other than that, their roster is not good, so. Uh, like I said on my podcast, if I fired Zach Taylor, I'm, I'm only firing him to get Joe Brady. Oh, Galladay. All right. Get a stop, D. Hey, they got a, They didn't just get a stop. They forced a turnover. About to have back-to-back -back epic comebacks here. I'm a little bit worried about Jamal Adams on this one. That was a good play by 97. Noise. We got a ball game. This this doesn't even matter that much. It's almost like we should just let him score. Watch this now and then watch the Falcons later, Moist Taps. Moist Pops. I'm just going to call you Poppy. Does that work? Oh, boy. No! <laughs> I don't know why people want Brian Schottenheimer. I don't... I don't get that. That sounds like a... a Chargers hire right there. What? Dude, where's the pass interference on that? Amari Rodgers uh, just demolished that guy on his route. And then almost made a one-handed catch. Okay, two minutes. Alright, Steelers defense taking the field. in theory should be a pretty good run oh 
Oh my goodness. Make it catchable, Hamilton. Could next gen bring more accurate scramble drill reaction by the receivers? Definitely could. I'd be more worried about the defensive backs reaction to scramble drill than Why is the clock running? What the heck? He so clearly rolled out of bounds there. Third and two for the Bengals. And they lose yards. <laughs> Alan Lazard sighting. Brutal. Got to call a timeout. Dude, TJ Watt's going to have a field day tonight against Bobby Hart or whoever the hell is playing right tackle for the Bengals tonight. Well, I'd say this one's looking like a loss. Although we got an easy touchdown to Hawkinson here. Although maybe not. Man, they covered that up well. Get me out of here. Yikes, dude. Still more entertaining than this Monday night game. Sloppy start to our season. A very Lions-esque start to our season, that's for sure. Um, let's be better next week. That's all I'm going to say. Tyron Whitaker got a pick. Russell Wilson just wanted it more. I haven't, um, I'm not ready to make my pick for the Packers-Titans game. I, I don't think Derrick Henry has a field day, though. I don't think they win the game just because of Derrick Henry. If they win, it's going to be because of A.J. Brown and Corey Davis and the whole, the whole show. Okay, we got Niners this week. Let's just let's just keep this thing going. Probably gonna play a couple more games here. Yeah, I do want to see more AJ Dillon. I feel like he actually has a pretty good like cold weather football in Lambo. If like if they get the one seed. That's a way to come off the bye and set the tone. Is if they can ram a 240-pound running back down opponents' throats. God, we are... 
Why do we have just the worst starts? Like, did we throw another interception? It looks like we did. Or we fumbled. I don't know what our team's deal is. I'm sure he'll get his chance next year. I'm not too worried about that. Ooh, there's a good tackle. Got cheeks on Kittle. My goodness. Oh, Big Ben missed another throw. Is that third down? No, second down. Okay, third and four. And third and five for the Steelers. Okay, we got ours, and the Steelers. God, their offense is just so bad. Why did it, like, the Steelers make everything so damn difficult? They don't do anything creative at all. They just say... Also, like, why are you going at William Jackson? Of all the pieces on the Bengals defense to attack, you're going to attack William Jackson on a back shoulder on third and five with James Robinson. Not even Claypool. Not even Claypool or Juju. They're just fucking stupid. Like, what are they doing? Glad I'm playing this instead, because I can't see who just followed me because I'm watching the game, but thank you, whoever that was. Going for Galladay here. Oh! Yep, it was another pick for Hamilton, by the way. So he's now thrown six in the first three games. For the third year in a row, he's had a crazy amount of interceptions early on. And now we're going to get a holding on fourth and one. Yeah, the Bengals are depressing without Joe Burrow. It's 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 rough. As someone that's actually watched every Bengals game this year, it's it's not fun. Really, Cam Akers is out for the rest of the season. Regular season. That's too bad. He was just just starting to get his chance. Hey, there's a sack for Wooden. Okay, second half. We need to come back again.
decent play. Same thing, but let's get Galladay on a slant this time. Rodgers. Oh, what a play. That was beautiful. Right on the boundary. That was a really nice throw and catch. Hey, now we got the ball again. I guess we got a second half defense. No, he missed it. We got rough in the passer though. Yeah, I agree, Moist Paps. Trey Lance on the on the Niners would be real nice. I don't I don't know if they'll be able to get him though. No, that is not where I wanted that ball. I wanted that ball back to the corner of the end zone a little more. And that one I wanted inside in the end zone. Hey, that was a nice way to get Warner one-on-one -on -one with Fuller. All right. Turned into a pretty decent day. Thank you, Chiefs. I think, I think you know, I'm very proud of my power rankings. Best in the biz, if you will. Okay, we got the ball back. Jesus Christ, the Bengals just forced a turnover while I wasn't looking. Steelers are a mess. I don't think you guys realize how bad this Bengals team is. A fumbled snap. Dude, I bet on the Steelers tonight because I didn't think they would do this shit again. But here they are. Unbelievable. Jeez, this is a good pass rush by Kinlaw. No, I, I wanted to do this for a living because I wanted to do what I love for a living, but how bad the regular media is definitely helps me. Because if ESPN was any good at their job, a guy like me would have a really hard time standing out. But uh, when they're as bad as they are, like it's, it's, it's fucking, it is hilarious. It is hilarious how much Booger McFarland, Stephen A. Smith, Colin Coward, Adam Rank, how much of these guys help me because I can confidently say that I am way, like, I don't even think I'm, like, full of myself by saying this. Like, I could be very average as an analyst and have the confidence to say that I'm way fucking better than those idiots. <laughs> like, the guys I'm competing with are, like, Robert Mays. Brett Coleman, Arif Hassan, like actual good NFL analysts. Like those are the guys I'm trying to be better than. 
But the fact that the guys with all the spotlight are as fucking terrible as they are allows a guy like me to have success. And I say I'm competing against those guys, but they're all great dudes. That's the other that's the other thing is like us internet analysts, like we root for each we we root for each other. Appreciate that, Alan Diggs. All right, let's knee this this sucker out. Man, I'm so glad I'm playing video games while I watch this game because this is just unwatchable right now. Fucking Steelers, dude! My God. Colin and the funny thing is Colin's probably the the best of the worst. Like I I can handle Colin. I, I at least have more respect for Colin than I do some of the other guys out there. I mean Colin is basically told to be outrageous. And come up with in like crazy takes that will maximize our internet traffic. And you know, he's basically he's doing okay at that, I think. He he will occasionally say something that I can get behind. And I think he can actually watch football and take away something from it. Whereas these other people, I don't even know if they know how to watch a game of football. And Colin's entertaining. I think Colin is like a genuinely talented radio personality. I don't think Stephen A. Smith is a talented radio personality. Dang, Luke Hamilton with the throw power. And there is the terrible Bengals sack. We gotta work on Akuta's zone a little bit. Way down there. Probably the same for Sertain, I would imagine. Yeah. Let's make these guys a little more versatile. Yeah, Will, Akuda does make plays. He uh he earned Superstar X Factor last year. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Wow. Would I rather keep Donald and trade down for a boatload of picks or take Fields Wilson Lance? I'd keep Donald and draft um I mean, unless you can, if you can move down to like four, if you can move down to four, I would do it. Otherwise, I would just take either Sewell or Chase. Okay, we're going to pay Jeff Okuda, absolutely. So, he's one of the top corners, so he's going to get, he's going to get top corner money here. Wyatt Teller's 29, he wants a three-year deal. That's that's honestly perfect. Three or 36 million. We got lots of cap space. Holland's up, Rogers is up, Fuller. We got lots of guys up this year, so we got work to do. Okay, we're two and one. Yeah, that Stafford throw is insane. What happens to John Ross next year? We're still talking about John Ross. <laughs> I mean, he'll probably sign somewhere and do nothing because that's what John Ross does. I hope the best for him, but the dude just can't stay healthy and hasn't developed a lick since he got in the league, so I'm, I'm done with John Ross. <laughs> Okay, 
Would the Chargers ever trade up for Sewell? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that'd be smart for them or not. Okay, we actually get to play the first quarter drive. We get to do this like three times a year, so let's not squander it. Oh, no. I thought he was the guy running the dig. That's why that play happened, guys. I want you to know that... Can I watch the replay? Because there was a dig on that play, right? Yep. Fuck me. I had it flipped. That's why I got that wrong. I thought he was running the dig. So I was trying to put the ball right here. I thought he was running the dig. I threw it. Galladay was wide open. He was the one, one running the dig. The read was correct. The button was incorrect. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, third and four. You aren't wrong, Chiefs. You aren't wrong. Yeah, Andrew Thomas did a great job. I think it's very clear at this point that Andrew Thomas struggles with his um, depth in his drops. He struggles with the speed guys. But he's got a good anchor. If you, if you have the anchor to handle Miles Garrett and the athleticism to deal with him, you're going to be just fine. Just needs to work on that tech technique, getting his traditional drops, but he'll be all right. This tackle class is just awesome. That's a touchdown. Uh, I don't have an answer for you right now, Moist Paps. I don't have an answer for you right now. I haven't watched those guys play it quite enough. Ask me again in like a month. Holy smokes, Denzel Mims on the Cardinals. Okay, blitz is coming. Slide right. I'm actually going to change Rodgers to an out route. Just terrible. All around. Terrible. <laughs> hey, the Steelers found themselves in third and seven again. What do you know? That was a dime. It's not so much that the Steelers are inconsistent, they're just they're just not good on offense. <laughs> like they're consistently below average on on offense. It's really been that way all year. Again, they're throwing a back shoulder. Just their offense is just so predictable. Big Ben just can't drive the ball. It's good coverage by Darius Phillips. But, again, Darius Phillips, 
if you're watching this, he's just fucking sitting on the comeback because he knows Big Ben can't throw it deep. He's just sitting on the comeback. He's playing in his, in his inside shoulder. He says, I know that the comeback's coming. He waits for it, and he's right there. Two-minute drill. Oh my goodness. Hello. How far do the Steelers fall if they lose this game? Definitely into the teens. They might fall into the teens if they win this game. This is embarrassing so far. Put it on him. Let's go. Time out. Uh, I wouldn't. I think the. I think the Ravens and Titans have like a fighter's chance in the AFC. I mean, it, it really just comes down to can you get get a few lucky breaks against the Chiefs, win a close game, and then if. I mean, we've seen we've seen better teams than the Chiefs. I think lose early. Or at least similar teams. Did Ryan Finley complete that? Dude. So basically Ryan Finley's better than Ben Roethlisberger. I'm gonna go for this. Chiefs Bills would be a blast. All right, we can make this kick. Uh oh, is that T. Higgins injured, or is that Boyd? That looks like it might be Boyd. The Chiefs and Bills did play, but it was like a it was a really bad weather game. It was a bad weather game, so it. The rematch would be better. And the Chiefs definitely favor the Bills in a bad weather game because they, they defend the run much better than the Bills, and the Chiefs, Chiefs can run the ball better. Not that the Bills are a bad running team necessarily, but Clyde Edwards-Hilaire kind of took over in that game. Just get frickin' roasted, 48. Speaking of the Bills running game, Cardinals have Devin Singletary. This is a big, we gotta hold them here. Nice play, 95, that's Wooden. Wooden, Wooden. Turnaround for the offense, at least. Go, Hamilton. Get in swift. There it is.
All right, we're right in this thing. Third and seven. Oh, I tried to drive on that thing. Third and four. Oh man, Kyler held on to it. Look at Cheeks coming from across the field. You see how fast he looked there? He's like our Tyron Matthew, basically. Antoine Winfield. Nice play, Holland. From what I can tell right now, crazy dude, Stefan Tuit. Big Pro Bowl snub. And it's because of the broken uh, positional terminology that they use. Because he's competing with edge rushers as a D end. Fourth and three. It looks like potentially a blitz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should be able to hit Rodgers pretty easily here. Kick is no good from Cincy. God, they're awful. The Bengals are good at nothing other than free safety. Okay, Hawkinson. Okay. We turn the fucking ball over down there? Are you serious? I'm swearing a lot tonight, but I'm, I'm heated. What is the deal with our... Turnovers. Let's just get on to the next one. Holy crap. Feels like every throw that Ben has thrown tonight could have been intercepted. God, that interception late just breaks our heart. We had a chance in this one. Steven Ruiz said that the Rams can beat any team but also lose to any team. I mean, I don't know what it is about them that is any different than any non-Chiefs team with that statement. I mean, the Seahawks lost to the Giants last week. Oh my god, Juju did just get rocked. I read that comment and then... Dude, this is just embarrassing for the Steelers. Holy shit. Why, you're throwing a, like, you're throwing a drag on third and seven. Ben also had a Ben had a wide open guy over the middle of the field. Did you guys see that? Both defenders bolted for Juju under like in front of the sticks. And Ben forced it to Oh my god, this is just embarrassing. 
Okay, Galladay, I don't care. I don't care about the offense coordinator. I don't care about the X-Factor linebacker. Let's just win a freaking game and stop throwing picks. I should I should do this more often on these garbage primetime games. Let's have a convincing win for once here. Let's play a good start game, start to finish. Start putting Hamilton's season back on track here. Look who's playing middle linebacker for the fucking Chicago Bears EA. Khalil Mack. Okay, at least he's in a pass rusher this time. Get your feet in. No! I don't even know what happened there. We beat him initially. I guess the throw was just too far behind him. We got the look we wanted. It just didn't get executed. Damn it. Look at this. Look at this shit. Akeem Hicks at edge and Khalil Mack at off-ball linebacker. Fuck UEA. What a joke. I don't know what's a bigger joke, the Pittsburgh Steelers or EA Sports, because they're both pretty freaking big jokes. <laughs> that's, ob that's obviously a joke. EA Sports is... A much larger joke. Throw it away. I'm just going to go max protect, and we're just going to go to Oh, that actually had a chance. Too easy. Two minute drill. Middle linebacker, Khalil Mack. Making plays, dropping 40 yards downfield in coverage. This game sucks ass.
Nice play, Fuller. Nice play. Let's go hurry up. Make a throw, Hamilton. Come on. Why did Taylor Mays not thrive in the NFL? I mean, you can only point to work ethic on that one because he had no excuses. That dude was an absolute freak. And you can't really blame System because he could have played anywhere he wanted. The guy clearly just didn't put the work in in practice and didn't earn the favor of the coaching staff. Come on, Galladay. Oh, man. Good job to go catch that thing despite a bad throw. Yeah, it looked like the Chiefs just ran a lot of too high and just got after it up front. I mean... I was lucky that that fell incomplete. I don't know. I feel like ultimately you have to be able to score. You have to control the ball on offense to beat the, to beat the Chiefs, I feel like. Good play, I guess. Asante Samuel Jr., of course. Should have known it was him. What a play. <laughs> Remember when I said I was going to stop throwing picks? Yeah, that was fun. At least the defense showed up today. Go, Fuller. Now we're now we're rolling a little bit. Ah, oh. trying to throw seeds down here. Okay, Asante Samuel is apparently as good as his dad, guys. Holy shit. Just two crazy picks by him. I'm gonna throw 40 interceptions this year. I can't believe there are still Steelers fans last week telling me that the Steelers were still the second best team in the uh, in the NFL. This is embarrassing.
Uh, I was talking about Caldwell earlier. I just, I literally have no emotional response when I hear that. Like, just do better. He probably deserves a coaching job, but if Deshaun Watson's my quarterback, just do better than Jim Caldwell. I hope the best for him, but I just, I would not get excited about that. Yeah, I don't really have any opinions on Riddick. He seems fine. Seems like a smart dude. I got nothing. I'm not against, I'm not pro Luis Riddick. I'm not against him. Be curious to see what he could do if, if, if he gets a GM job. Dude, Asante Samuel. Stay away from him. Noted on that. Jeez. I'm going to play until I go a game without throwing a pick. Ugh, because what have we thrown this year? Like 10? I hate throwing picks in this game. But it's just inevitable because BS just happens. Yeah, I mean, we all have bad draft takes. When you're in, when you're in the position like Luis Riddick... Like, everything's on record. If, if, if every GM in the league had a record of their draft takes like he does, you'd, you'd be ridiculing every team's GM. Eleven picks already. Ugh. Makes me want to puke. Okay, No picks next week. This is when we start to clean up the season right here. I call it a toy, coin toss between Stefanski and uh, Flores. I don't know how you really just differentiate between those two. All right, is Pittsburgh going to start trying now? All right, fullback, I see you. Getting the one on one. He's got him. Oh, get those feet down. We might have Lazard in the linebacker here. It's zone. Good first quarter, Hamilton.
Jeez, defense struggling. Four down territory for us. I think we're going to get this boot, though. Yep. Throw block. Beauty. Dude, the Steelers didn't get that on third and one. Are you kidding me? So do they go for it? Okay, we got man coverage. Hit that, Hamilton. Come on. Man coverage again. And he runs back all the way past. He's running a comeback, and he runs all the way backwards. Zero blitz here. No! It was not a zero blitz. Fuck. Joe Schobert got me. Guess we gotta play another one. That was a dime. Did Jesse Bates just light up Eric Ebron? That's kind of a bang bang play. There's a throw. That was a nice little needle. Nowhere to go there. What rule change? I think you guys know that. I'm assuming the rule change question and the uh, results driven analysis are just uh, poking at me a little bit. The INT was me, Aisha. It was fourth down. I thought it was a zero blitz. I threw the slant. Oh, God, it is fourth down. Thank you, Swift. Jack's defense has worked out. Look at all these guys with star. Oh, oh. Fuck. <laughs> I was trying to stiff arm. This is how I throw picks. And if that's me in real life, I'm going like this. I'm stiff arming. But because I'm playing Madden, I'm throwing to A. Okay, yeah, that was way past. <laughs> that was way past. Yeah, 
You guys, I already solved the overtime issue. We don't even need to debate it. I already, I already solved it. I got a whole video on it. Catch the damn ball, Hawkinson. What are we doing? I have no idea if the Giants will come close to the playoffs next year. We gotta see how their offseason plays out. Alright, let's at least win this game. This will be interesting. Looks like a zero, so let's just hot read this. Let's clear out. Damn it. I should have blocked the running back. Did we, I think we threw another interception in simulation. Holy crap. 14 picks through six games. That is just despicable. Way to fight, Swift. Oh, give me that touchdown. I'm trying to score quickly here. That's a good call. Because I want to get a stop and go win. The interceptions are ugly, but at least we're four and two if we win this. Did Ben just throw another fucking interception? If this was a bad pick, I don't know how you keep playing Big Ben tonight. I mean, oh my god. MVP of the league. Yeah, I can't believe people are saying that. Let's see this. Also, like, I should have called a timeout there, but I was too focused on this. Steelers garbage.
Let him in. Alright, we gotta pull off a miracle. Actually, you know what? This one has a chance. <laughs> oh. What if we won on that? That was ugly, dude. That was a really ugly game. I did not play the way I wanted to that game. 442 yards, but three interceptions. Let's finish strong. I said I'm, I'm not stopping until I finish a game without an interception. Oh my god, dude. This is just bad. Dude, I feel like I could say whatever I want about the Steelers and the power rankings this week because the Steelers fans aren't even going to watch after this because this is that bad. Packers next week. I mean, the Steelers are still probably going to win this game, but... Okay, I guess Swift has another breakout. Let's, let's just look at our stats here. Hamilton is first in the NFL in passing yards, but he's thrown 14 picks. Yuck, dude. If we could finish the season under 20, that'd be great. Will Cheeks does have three picks. This isn't an easy defense to turn it around against. It is getting late, so if if he throws a pick in simulation, I'll live with it. But I'm not I'm not throwing one.
Yes, very Jameis Winston-esque, Davy Jones. First quarter drive. I'll, I'll pop in the Discord occasionally. Yank. I don't lurk a ton. Geez, Kenny Clark blew that up. Was a no looker. Hey, go Fuller. No, he got tackled. A watch party for the wildcard games? Well, I will probably be watching the wildcard games with my fiance, but you guys should totally do that in the Discord. That'd be pretty sweet. I don't need to be there. Hey, that was a nice looking drive. That was a nice looking drive. What's up, independent gamer? Cam Newton doing the full NFC North circle. He was on the Vikings. Now he's on the Packers. After the Packers let Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love leave in free agency. Because EA is a fucking joke. The top two free agents this year were Jordan Love and Aaron Rodgers. You'll just have to find out in the morning, crew baller. Good thing they extended Aaron Jones, though, because they definitely needed him. Who needs a quarterback when you have a running back? Yeah, I think there's a chance that Jordan Love ends up getting traded before Aaron Rodgers is out in Green Bay. Hey, another punt for the freaking Steelers coming up. Whew, what a catch from Hawkinson. Honestly, I don't even feel like playing defense anymore tonight. I'm just a little exhausted playing defense. I'm just going to play the offensive ones. I just need to have a game where I don't throw a pick.
We also have a breakout for DeAndre Swift. We got to keep that in mind. Wow, offsetting penalties on the third down. Oh, Savage has superstar now. Cover four. And there's the pick. We get another game, guys. Congratulations. Let's at least go win the damn thing. Oh, that was a dime. Jeez, this game is getting chippy. I guess we gotta just run this and kick the field goal. I don't think Swift's getting that breakout with a 21 carry, 64 touch, uh, 64 yard day. This is the second time Swift has had a superstar breakout and we didn't get it. Just wasn't meant to be. Hawkinson, what are you doing? We did throw the one pick, but still a pretty good day for Hamilton. And we get another game, so we're all winners, really. It'll add up. We'll, we'll finish the game right around halftime, which is a good stopping point, I suppose. Good day for Hamilton. I mean, the one effort throw sucked, but... Defense played an all-around good game, but no one showed up in the, on the box score. This would also put us right at the midway point for our season. This is our eighth game on the year coming up. 
Hamilton's close to getting escape artist. Alright, Detroit. This is it. I'm just going to play offense again. Third and three. I'm not sure what happened there. Hopefully it wasn't a pick. I think it was a pick. Hamilton just can't help himself. Good grief. It's not all my fault, guys. It's me and the simulation engine. Try to get rid of it. No harm, no foul. And down goes Big Ben. Oh my god. Okay, Galladay. I like the look. Hey, there's a needle. These out routes or these corner routes are working. A lot of cover two from Tampa. Galladay could have a shot play here. Way to just get rid of it. Oh my gosh, block that guy, Decker. That was a first down if Blocker if Decker doesn't just let him go right past him. Hurried up. Yep. 
Nice drive. I, I see what you guys are saying about Rodgers in the comments. To be fair to the Packer fans, Hamilton threw another freaking pick in simulation. To be fair, Packers fans are just salty that stupid-ass Matt Ryan. And then that happens. Packers fans are just salty that Matt Ryan was gifted an MVP when Rodgers went out with an all-time amazing season with nothing so the fact that he's so close to winning one this year Packers fans are coming in with a chip on their shoulder like come on just like Mahomes has 20 more years to win MVPs Rodgers got robbed of one by stupid ass Matt Ryan throwing jump balls to Julio Jones getting schemed up by Kyle Shanahan all year while Rodgers took a graveyard team coached by Mike McCarthy to the NFC Championship and had the best 10-game stretch of quarterback play I think we've ever seen. Like, do we ever get to play offense here? Or like, what's going on? So at least, at least cut Packers fans some slack on that. They're just pissed that Rodgers has been disrespected his whole career. And they're jealous... They're jealous of what Mahomes has to work with. Nice play. Oh, Hawkinson, are you kidding me? Get your feet in. There we go. Yeah, dude, the media's had a hate boner for Aaron Rodgers his whole career. I guess we'll play this and just see what happens here. Teddy Bridgewater in Tampa Bay. Oh my god. Why did we even play it? They're kicking it now? Interesting. You're telling me there's a chance. Yikes. I can't end on that. 
What a disappointing loss. Two sim interceptions. Maybe Hamilton is just destined to throw 40 touchdowns and 30 picks every year. That was the perfect Detroit Lions loss. All right, I am exhausted, but I just, I can't bring myself to end on that. I can't do it. I just can't do it. We're gonna end on a good note. I still gotta record, record the power rankings tonight. My voice is exhausted. Apparently we're not going to be able to play any offense. Here we go. We've forced three turnovers today. We haven't committed any. Middle linebacker Khalil Mack really struggled to get to that one. Two minute drill. Uh oh, we've got a turnover. Did he throw another pick? All right, Hawkinson. All right. Yep, Hamilton threw another pick. Fuck me. What is his deal? We should take Omaha away. He does not deserve it anymore. It's insane. That was a good look. No. God. Roquan came from the other side of the field there. I'm going to go fake punt just for fun. Oh, it's open. Terrible throw by the punter. Left it hanging. But, hey, it was a good punt. We got the ball back. Hey, 
Hey, that was nice. Nice play. What's up, JS Gaming? Five interception day for Chicago. Looking like us out there. Thanks for the cheer, Solitude. Stone. I don't know why I call you Solitude. Hamilton's got to be close to 20. He's got to be, let's see, he threw three last week. He threw another today. I think he's at 20 now. He's way better than Jameis, though. <laughs> Man, we got a Another turnover. Beautiful. Hey, they gave us the points in simulation. Why not? All right. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. The one simulation interception. But we finally had a game where I didn't throw one. Four interception day for Trubisky, who's still playing here. Will Cheeks. We got to find out if Will Cheeks gets a breakout next week. That's at least five picks for him in his rookie year. All of the upgrades. Just holding on those because we're flying. We could take first place back with a win next week against the Vikes. Although they're seven and two, so I lied. Aaron Rodgers and the Vikings. Hey, Hamilton doesn't have 20 picks yet. It's not too late to keep him under 20 on the year. Let's look at our defensive numbers. Will Cheeks. Have a day. All right, let's 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 just sneak in one one more real quick. Let's just sneak it in. Like it didn't even happen.
Can't wait for those Steelers to win this game 20 to 17. Tabu, this is your five? This is your five. Throwing back across our body, but it worked. Blitz is on. Galladay. Just run it. Nice. Oh, sit down, 51. Sit down. Maybe we cursed Hamilton into a life of throwing interceptions when we put the Carson Wentz arm sleeve on him. Did anyone think about that? Take the field goal. Live to see another day. Oh no. I think we turned it over again, guys. I think he threw another pick. I love how the clock always runs too when you come in off of uh the clock was just running after a kickoff. Yep, he threw another pick. Unbelievable that he throws as many as he does. I think he's now probably thrown more in simulation than I've thrown. Count it. Let's go. Oh, Teddy's awake. You have to go by, go potty, Teddy. ball came out late that one was on me good coverage but that one just came out late and then he just like that's why he's incredible that's why Luke Hamilton Like, that throw was just next level ridiculous.
Nice catch. Nice looking drive. Cover two. Get past Kendricks. Oh, the pass rush. No, we had it. And now we're out of the zone. Let that clock run. Vikings are going to be dumb and not call timeout. And by Vikings, I mean EA. Oh, there goes Chase Claypool. God, he's so fast. God, they got to use him more. Throw it. Oh my God. We're going to get overtime here. It's so annoying. I just wanted to call a quick play action out of goal line there. Hey, the Steelers are awake, everybody. What do you know? Oh, Galladay. Ho! Oh! Goodbye, 28. Yeah, we beat Matt Nagy's Vikings coach or uh, quarterback by Aaron Rodgers. Two picks for Hamilton, but he still goes off. Benogany with a pick. I think it's time, guys. I think it's time. Big games coming up when we do our next stream. Again, I'm going to be out of town in Chicago all week, so no stream for a while, but I'm glad we got this in. Glad we got another one in before I leave. Make sure you guys follow the channel. Check out TFG Plays both on YouTube here. Follow TFG Plays on Twitter. For stream time announcements and that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching that turned into a much longer stream than i expected but this was better than just sitting and tweeting during this crappy monday night football game because this is just a brutal game so i'm glad we got the stream in peace out everyone love you cheers all that peace